Thanks for stopping by. Today we're comparing a solar eclipse with a lunar eclipse. As many of you are probably aware, there is a total solar eclipse coming up on August 21st, 2017. So let's discuss what a solar eclipse is and compare it to a lunar eclipse for educational purposes. So both types involve the sun, the moon, and the earth, but the order is different. For a solar eclipse, the order is sun, moon, earth, like so, while the lunar eclipse order is sun, earth, moon. When there's perfect alignment, you'll get a total eclipse, otherwise it's only a partial eclipse. Eclipses occur surprisingly often, with both solar and lunar eclipses occurring multiple times a year, and a total solar eclipse occurs about once every two years, and total lunar eclipses occur in clusters every three to four years. Now you might be wondering why the upcoming solar eclipse is such a big deal if they happen so frequently, and the reason is that total solar eclipses only affect a small portion of the Earth, called the path of totality and Mother Nature doesn't prioritize land over ocean, so the path often falls in the middle of the ocean or on land that's not easily accessible. The difference with the upcoming eclipse is that the path touches 14 states in the US, so there's much more accessible viewing area than usual. A total lunar eclipse, on the other hand, affects approximately 50% of the Earth during that portion's nighttime. You've probably slept through many total lunar eclipses. Uh, solar eclipses are relatively short, lasting only a few minutes. The upcoming eclipse will be uh, two to three minutes, depending on location. Uh, the process itself is much longer, but the actual total eclipse, totality as it's called, is only a few minutes. A lunar eclipse can last from seconds to well over an hour, and again, it can be seen by anyone on the night side of Earth. Viewing each eclipse is a different experience as well. A solar eclipse must be viewed through special lenses so as not to damage your retina, uh, you can, however, remove the glasses during a few minutes of totality. And here's what you will see, uh, though experien experiencing it is much more spectacular in person. A lunar eclipse can be viewed with the naked eye. Uh, it'll be a blood moon if it's a total eclipse, or it'll look like this if it's a partial. This is just a simple side-by-side -side comparison of a solar and lunar eclipse. Um, I've included links in the description with more information regarding the upcoming eclipse and solar and lunar eclipses in general, so check those out if you're interested. Be sure to share this video, and please let me know what other questions you have. You're awesome. I'll catch you next time.